the news day on the BBC. I'm Sharon Jitlail in Singapore. Good morning, it's 8 a.m. here in Singapore, 1 a.m. in London, and 3 a.m. in Yemen, where, according to the United Nations, a catastrophe is unfolding. The country is struggling with the world's worst cholera epidemic and the looming threat of famine. UN officials say Yemen has been brought to its knees by more than two years of war between Houthi rebels and a Saudi-led coalition. Our correspondent, Ola Girin, has gained rare access to the southern port city of Asia. Now, North Korea says it doesn't care a bit about an announcement by the U.S. stopping its citizens from visiting the reclusive communist state. That ban was formally published on Thursday and comes into force next month. Now, the measure will further reduce the number of uh, encounters North Koreans have with foreigners. Well, joining us now from the border between China and North Korea in the city of Dandong is our correspondent, John Sudworth. Well, John, tell us a little bit about where you are at the moment, because it does look like they're... Uh, are quite a few tourists behind you. Are they possibly headed to North Korea? Well, let's take a look now at some of the front pages from around the world. We start with the uh, Japan Times, looking at the story of the uh, beleaguered defense uh, minister there. It reports that it's almost certain that Tomomi Inada uh, will resign over an alleged cover-up involving military documents, and it even lists possible replacements to her. Now, the China Daily leads with a rallying call from President Xi Jinping. He's calling on Communist Party officials to prepare for risks and challenges. He says after four decades of reform, the party has to meet the people's demand for happy lives. And the South China Morning Post has uh, this picture. Let's take a look. It's the uh, final touches of a miniature version of the Hong Kong Stadium. But guess what? Take a look closely because it's all made out of Lego and it's on show at the moment at the uh, Anycom and Games Show. And that brings you up to date with all the papers. And, uh, Dan Dong on the border uh, with uh, North Korea. Thank you for that. Well, you're watching Newsday on the BBC, still to come on the programme. That was Rupert Winkle Hayes there in Tokyo. Now, fires are continuing to burn in southern France for a fourth day. Several thousand firefighters and troops are battling the flames, which they now say are more under control.